Hey everybody, you know, every year is just different, isn't it? <laughs> so it's the middle of February right now and I, it's a beautiful day today. I came out to check my hellebores and look at all of these buds that are here. I mean, they're just covered in so many buds. I'm really excited. This is a little bit earlier than usual for us, maybe three, four weeks earlier than I usually see them. And uh, the other thing that's different this year is that the foliage doesn't look brown and ratty like it usually does this year at this time. And so normally uh, when the buds show up on these flowers, uh, I usually just cut all these larger leaves off because they're brown and gross looking. And um, this year they just don't look so bad. So I think I'm going to leave them for a while and just um, cut back the ones that are maybe um, impeding the growth of the the flowers that are coming up and then also I just would like to get all these uh, dead leaves out of here so that we can really see what we have um, for blooms. One thing I will recommend when working with these types of hellebores is uh, wearing gloves because the edges are sharp and especially when the leaves turn brown and get uh, and, and get and, and die, they're like almost like little razors. So that's why I always wear gloves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here um, cleaning out the foliage or cleaning out the dead leaves. And let's see what we have. Maybe a rake would make this easier, but I think I might shred the shred the flowers so I think I'm just going to go in it's probably better to just sort of shake the leaves out with my hands and if I do break off any stems uh, hellebores also make sweet little cut flowers indoors so I'll probably if I do end up with any broken stems I'll just throw them in a little vase you don't often expect to have a nice little cut flower bouquet in February so I've got most of the leaves out of here and um, I know, you know, I have plenty of garden with lots of debris left in it, but this, this little patch, I just moved the leaves over to the right. So all of the pollinator um, pollinators that might be overwintering down here should still be fine. And uh, know that, um, so the tallest leaf stems like this, these are the old ones. And as I mentioned, you know, usually they look brown and not good by this time but here they look good but you can always tell the old ones because they're so long and notice all this new foliage coming up with the with the buds uh, so when when i clean them up normally i just cut them up cut them off back at the the main stem if they're completely dead sometimes they snap off right at the leaf junction but i'm gonna go ahead and snip some of them off now but i think i'm gonna leave most of them today because the leaves still do look good and you know we're not done with cold weather forever uh, we, we might be having a warm stretch right now, but it's only mid-February, so we will definitely have some more cold weather before we're all done. And I think the having these leaves might help um, actually protect some of the buds from, from uh, getting zapped by uh, cold weather in the coming months. Even though they are cold hardy, they might still, you know, if it gets too cold, they might, they might take some damage.